welcome to the Shelly Studio and another video for the Creative Arts Collaboration Group hashtag event, hashtag CAC Flower Art. So make sure um, after watching my video you go onto the search bar on YouTube and just type in hashtag CAC Flower Art and you should come up with a lot of videos um, about flowers and art, which I can't wait to see them myself. So while I'm doing this, this the event has not started yet, obviously. Um, but um, I had a plethora of ideas. Um, this one is an art journal page that I've just been cleaning off my leftover paint from different projects. And it was so bright and colorful, I wanted to turn it into a flower picture. And I'd seen some um, videos where people have used their fingers and, you know, just kind of covered up the negative space and left, you know, some cool shapes or whatever. So I thought I'd try to create some flowers. Um, I can't really use my fingers in some of these small areas because my fingers are just too stubby. So I do use the paintbrush most of the time. There's a few areas where I can actually hit it with my fingers, but not very much. So now that I've drawn kind of all the areas I want to keep, oh well, yeah, let's put some wax paper down. Um, I'm just going around the big areas with my fingers, but like I said, that doesn't last very long because um, I made a lot of small areas that I'll need to get in there with a smaller paintbrush. My fingers are just too big. So there I go with the paintbrush. And could I have found a smaller paintbrush? I don't think so. Um, I probably could have come, gone with something a little bit bigger and it would have covered a lot quicker. So I'm sorry if this is like really tedious. You can fast forward if you want. Um, did I say that I'm thinking of starting a new series called Hot Mess Mondays? Because this thing was a hot mess. I'm painting along, thinking I'm doing good, and then I'm like, I'm covering up all that really pretty color. I shouldn't have covered up all that pretty color. But, you know, it is what it is. You just keep going until you like it, right? It's just, it's just paper and paint. You can start over. Just remember what you had on there. I have no idea what colors I was using on there because it was leftover paint over a period of weeks, probably. So like I said, this part is pretty tedious. I think I shall jump a little bit forward so you don't have to sit here and watch me fill in all the negative space with white paint. There we go, almost done. That shortened the video considerably, I think. <laughs> Just getting the last little bits covered up. I'm about out of that white paint. See, I'm storing it upside down now at this point. Just trying to get all those areas that I can see faint color. And I'm pulling out a bigger brush. I'm just, I still see color, so I'm really trying to cover it up. If I knew what I was going to do with it after this, I probably wouldn't have taken the time to add more white to it, but I had no idea what I was going to do with it. I wasn't sure that I liked it yet. So this is the general sketch and wash pencil. I'm just putting around the edges and then adding water just to make those spheres, whatever kind of flower, imaginary flower those might be, um, to look a little more three-dimensional so they have a little bit of shading on the side. Stilling from the one and putting on the next one. I'm not so sure you can see it in the dark ones, but I think it helped a little bit to make them look a little bit more round. I 
here I'm just drawing around um, the edges of some of those little doodly marks. I guess they could be imaginary vines in this imaginary garden. I decide I want to be sketchy, so I'm scribbling around everything. I'm still not liking any of it, really. I'm just going by what I've seen before. So now I decide I don't like the white, so I'm going to paint it black. But I also don't want it solid black. So I have grabbed a purpley color and I believe it's Vivid Violet by Americana and Jet Black. And I just kind of mix it, loosely mix it together, not blend it because it would just turn black. And just let it mix on the page as we go. And I go around and I leave some white um, along the edges. And now we're going to fill it all in with this color. And I think I might make this section a little bit shorter too. Because I think I'm using a little bit bigger brush, but it's still tedious. There we go, it's just about all covered. Very um, painterly. That's a nice phrase for this messy page. Like I said, Hot Mess Mondays coming soon. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of um, going over with black on one side, like on the left side of things, except for that one. Um, just to create a little bit, I don't know, of interesting dimension. I think it just kind of added to it a little bit. So now that it's dry, I am using my Sharpie um, poster paint pen and going around some of the white areas to reinforce those white lines. It might have got a little sloppy. Okay, the whole thing's sloppy. But you know what I mean. I got a little more sloppy. And so this smooths it out just a little bit. some of those areas where I might have lost it. Like that squiggly line, I lost almost all of it. And I decide we'll add some more stuff. We'll add some little white dots in a few places. I think that, you know, I think that makes it look better. And I just keep going. We're doodling with the white paint, or white poster paint pen. It's paint, supposedly. Still kind of going for that scribbly circle idea. I just want to keep adding. I want to keep putting stuff on there. So now I'm using um, a Uniball jelly, um, it's like a jelly, white jelly pen to get me some thin lines. And all right, we're at the close ups. So it has potential. They look like flowers, imaginary flowers, in maybe it's midnight in the magical fairy garden. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, hope you try something. Um, don't forget to look at the other artist videos. And if you did like my channel, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.